Hi guys, this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. Now, in this tutorial of the Unreal Engine, I'm going to be teaching you guys how we can dig in a little bit more on the values for our writables here. And what we're going to create here is a HUD so we can just add some text to it and call in the values from the third person character, which are the one is the blueprint that we're going to be using here on this tutorial. So first, let's create our variables. Let's go in here. And we're gonna create at least three, four, four at least. One Boolean. Let's put something, this has jumped, has jumped. Uh, for this one, it's going to be a string. My name is. Oh, let's change the same one. Okay, so let's put the boolean in this one. Has jumped. Okay. On this one, it's going to be an integer. My age is. Okay. And for the last one, let's just put a float. My life is my health let's put my health my energy i don't know my energy let's put my energy my energy is let's put this on public so we can call it in in the hud let's compile so let's give some values to this my name is uh pr Div entertainment there we go that's jump let's say that it's true my age I'm 10. I'm 10. <laughs> Energy is 100%. Let's compile. Save. From here, we're not going to touch anything. At least not for now. Let's create a HUD. It's going to be in user interface. Let's create a widget. Let's put a name, my HUD one. Let's get into it. So let's put some text block in here. Let's put at least four, which are the ones that we need. There we go. Text block. Text block. Text block. The first one is going to be for the text. My name is. My name is. There we go. The second one is going to be my age is. Uh, my energy has jumped I'm just gonna put this one but actually it's boolean it's gonna say if it's true or false so I think we should put on the third person character I think we should put here that it's false and we can do some setup when it jumps then it sets the value for two. So now that we are inside our HUD, let's put more text box because we need them. Put the name, age, and everything. Let's copy, paste, paste, paste. And then there's one that's not supposed to be here, so let's take it up. Third one is not supposed to be a text block. We're supposed to use here uh, progress bar. We're gonna get percentage here. So let me put a style to this background image color. Let's put blue. There you go. And everything else is good. Okay, so I'm gonna put 100% this one. Where is it? There it is. 100%. There we go. This was full. And now, let me move it. Oh, come on, really? Okay, it doesn't want to move. What is wrong with it? I'm moving my keyboard. Okay, so at least it's centralized right there. So I'm just going to anchor this. The bottom corner right there. Where's the anchors here? 
Makers. Oh yeah, do I have to do it one by one? They change this, really. I think I have to do it one by one. Oh my god, yeah, that's bad. Like, it takes so much time to do that. Epic, you gotta fix that. Like, there's an anchor, there's nothing else. There's no changes, properties, or text, or numbers, or sizes, or scale. There we go. So, let me put this here, this here. Just scaling a little bit for the text. Okay. So now that we have this, we need to bind our stuff to the variables that we have on our third person character so we can uh, connect to it, cast to it, and get the values of those variables. Now, let's see. First, let's take our first text block, which is the name. Let's go to the text, the content text. Let's create a binding here. This one's going to be get the name. Okay. So from here, we're going to cast this to the character, or person character, which is our blueprint. Get the player controller. I mean, uh, character for the variables. Get player character. And now we can choose to get the character. Variables. Name. It's going to be text. String return value return value. There we go. Let's compile this. This one is good. Let's go back here. Let's go to the second text block. And this one is the age. So this one, we're gonna create another binding here. We're gonna cast it also to the character. To third person character and on this one same thing the player character but this one is going to be the age right am i right let me see age my name is no it's the age it's the age yeah so we take here the age no not set Do not set get my age there we go Converse to text. We have this one. Now let's go back to the designer. Let's go to the percentage bar, to the progress bar. Let's bind the progress here to the float that we have on our character. I gotta put some names to this. This one is get the age. And this one is get the energy. Okay, same thing, cast a character, purpose character, remember this is supposed to be the blueprint that you have, in my case it's the player character, which is the one that comes by default on the third person project, and get energy, did I put energy, I put something else, I, put, I think I put another name, sorry, right, oh no, I put my energy, my energy. So in here, we're going to divide this by 100. Why by 100, you may be asking? Because you need to tell the engine that this progress bar is going to be working only with 100%. You can use 200%, you can use 300, 400. It doesn't know exactly if you don't put the, the amount of percent that you're going to use, so he's just going to go like unlimited. And it's gonna be really hard to get you know a value from that. So you need to tell him that it's going to be 100%. And in your case, if you're going to do something that has 200% or 300, then you got to put 200 or 300 or 500, whatever numbers that you're working with. In my case, I'm just going to put 100. Let's go back to the designer. Let's go to the text block. And let's bind the text here. Let's put the name to this one. Get if it's jumping get if it's if it has jumped there we go same thing as the other three let's cast to third person character get player character and let's get the uh, boolean get jumped first jump get has jumped 
there we go. This is the boolean that we have. So in this case, it's gonna convert the value of true or false to, to text, to a string. Okay? <clears throat> so we are good here. There's nothing else that you need to do on the HUD. Now everything else has to be done here on the event graph of the third person character. So in this case, I'm just going to add an event of begin play. So we can create a widget, create a widget. So we can add the viewport, add the viewport. There you go, target, there you go. Owning player, uh, self. Uh, is it self reference or no? It's get player controller. Spending a lot of time. I'm gonna play with this. Okay, so the class is going to be the name of the HUD, which is my HUD one. There it is. And from here we can start seeing our HUD. As you can see, it already has the name is already calling everything so it's calling the variables from the character and it's showing that the name is PRD entertainment that the age is 10 which is the values that we gave and that the percentage is hundred percent and that it has jumped is false now to be sure that this is true yeah it's false because we didn't put nothing here now we can put something else let me see if we press the space bar Spacebar. Let's say that. Um, yeah, let's let's just set the new value for this. That's going to be true. If we compile, we hit play. It says false, right? Now, if you jump, it's supposed to change to true. There we go. So it has changed to true. So now let's lose some energy on that progress bar right there. So for that, we're just going to add a fun, I'm gonna add a bunch, I'm gonna have a bunch of things right now, I'm just starting. Lose energy. Okay, so in here, what we're going to do is that we're going to add the float, which is this, set energy. Do we have something? Yeah, it already has a value of 100% because Put it in when we started working with the variable so we're going to get that percentage first and now we're going to take some i mean how much like five ten seven i don't know seven probably so let's put float minus float let's say that it's going to be five only so from here it's going to read the 100 percent of energy that it has by default that we put on the variable inside as a value and he's just going to take out five and the total is going to be added again to the same variable so in this case it's supposed to show on our hud five uh, less percent each time we jump we jump okay so on the event graph i'm going to add the function here I'm just going to drag it so i'm going to put it over right here and get with the space bar every time we jump and now let's hit play. There we go. So every time we jump, it loses 5%. Now you can also do another setup, probably an overlap or something, that every time you overlap, let's say, I don't know, with a can of food or water, that it, the energy goes up by 5, 10%, 20, 50, whatever you want. Uh, but this is the easy way to cast to a character or to a blueprint to another actor and get the values of the variables that it has inside. It's really easy to call in, just you need to put the easiest names so that you can remember. Just, you know, so you can't, you don't have to be switching around so much on the windows, on different windows, like minimizing and maximizing because you forgot the name. So just try to put everything uh, in an easy way that you can find like anything that you want. Remember to call in, you need to create variables, put some values. You can put some values later. It doesn't have to have a default value. You can do it like I did by jumping. It changes the value from false to true. So it doesn't matter if it's, if you put a default value before the game starts or you do it 
after with some setup, some sub nose jumping or running or, or sprinting out or shooting, I don't know. So this is the same way you can use it also to call, uh, how I can say, like uh, an amount of points, uh, bullets, an amount of bullets that you have, ammo, amount of grenades, amount of food, how much items you have for apples, for money, uh, you, you know, it depends on what you want to do. But this is like the best way and the fastest way that you have. Now this is going to be... Uh, I think for today, yeah, I think for today this is going to be the only tutorial. This is really, really, a really cool tutorial for you guys. You can add more stuff to have to the HUD. You can add the health, you can add the shields, you can add, you already have the energy. You can add, instead of my age, you can put ammo or magazine or, I don't know, depends on you what you want. I'll see you guys next time. I'm uploading another tutorial for Visual Basic probably later, like in two hours. So, so stay up to it. This is your from PRDV Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, guys. 